every week. I'm not even gambling. Look, <laughs> 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 man. 
Sam, get me out of this! Oh my god. Oh my god, I'm so glad you're here. Where's Megan? Is she alright? She's here. She's still unconscious, though. Hey. 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 You all right, babe? Are you okay? I'm much better now. Looks like everyone's okay. We should get the hell out of here, but first, let's do something with the Deliverance Man over there. Bro, give me a hand. What the hell, man? Leave him in the dirt to die. Have you ever watched a horror movie? As soon as we leave, he'll wake up and be looking to finish what he started with us. Let's strap his ass to a tree, get back to your truck, call the cops, and let them deal with him. <clears throat> Come on, man, let's just finish and go. Not leaving anything on him that he can escape with. I you know, like your thinking. Looks like that's it. You got it here? Yeah, that's strong enough. That'll hold. You've got to be kidding me. What? What is it? My coat! He's wearing my coat! It's my favorite coat. Help me on time. Oh, wait, bro. Look, just let it be. Come on. Do you have your cell phone? Broken. No. Come on. My battery's low. Oh. Oh. My two hundred fifty dollar coat, you maniac! Let's just go. Hey, hey, hey. focus. All right. He's tied up. Let's just go to the cops and let them deal with him. That's easy for you to say. He's not the one that cut your throat. This is all the more reason why we need to let the cops come in here and handle this. The sooner we get out of here, the better. I'm not gonna kill him. I'm just gonna bust him up. You know how long it'll take me to save another $250 for a new coat? I'll be back with the 5-0 and get my coat back. Guys! Bet. We gotta get going! Ah! Damn it! You all can at least help me look for my other shoe! Some friends. More. We could have been killed. Who was that? Masked man? I can't believe you're about to say that. That's what I said. Who was that totally masked asshole? You really think I'd say something that cheesy? I really hope he's dead. You don't mean that to me. I'm sort of counting on it myself. Are you serious? I honestly believe that he intended to kill all of you. Oh, so now Mr. Morality decides to let the man. I'll be the first one to tell the cops what happened when we get back. But first, we gotta get out of hell if I know where and get to some place we do know. And I'll sure as hell feel a lot better when I know that asshole's good and dead. Give it a rest, bro. I think all of us are sure that he's dead. We're just lucky that you went to look for firewood. Otherwise, you would have been caught with us. I just wish you'd rescued us a little sooner. Come on. We should get moving. Oh, damn it. What is it, PT? What? Just spit it out. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, okay? I'm sorry about pushing you when I was beating the masked man. I got upset about what he was trying to do to me. I got caught up in the moment, kind of hulked out. Well, the next time that you decide to hulk out and hurt me, I will knock you in the ball so hard you'll need a tow truck to get him out of your throat.
I didn't get a chance to tell you before, but thank you for rescuing us. Are you okay? Yeah. I think so. I just want to get out of here and go home. I'll get you there, and you don't need to thank me. Thanks, anyway. I feel much better that you're here. So you like a guy who's not afraid to cry, huh? Yeah, sure. I always like a guy who loses equanimity in a stressful state. I have no idea what you just said. Why can't you talk like normal people? She is normal people. You're the abnormality. It means that you lose your cool when making difficult decisions. Wow. Because I decided to give him the beating of his life? I had no problem making a difficult life decision there. Because you all wanted me to stop. I really hope we don't run into him again. He came out of nowhere. I'd be surprised if he shows up. Crossed a fairly large tributary. Tribunal what? She means a creek. Come on, guys, we should keep moving. The sooner we find my truck, the better. All convergence of life is based near water. What are you talking about? Oh my god. Don't tell me you're still going chasing after that legend. We've got to get you to a hospital. Meg, it can lead us to more water, which tells us where we are. It points us in the direction of your new boyfriend's gas customer. We can follow the creek and hopefully find some landmark to get our bearings. Our only other option is to go back the way we came and try to retrace our steps, but that takes us by the maniac that captured you guys in the first place. How much do you remember from where he took us? I was just trying to make sure I didn't lose you guys and not be discovered at the same time. I wasn't paying attention to landmarks. Well, what about this area? Does anything here look familiar? You do know you parked by a lake, right, man? Creek. Moron. Whatever. Look, if you're not 100% sure where we are, we should probably just follow Christy. That might be best. Even if we don't find your car, we might be able to reconnect to a highway of a pass or something. Still no signal. Come on, guys. Let's keep moving. God, it feels like I'm trapped in the Twilight Zone. You have no idea. So if we keep following this tributary, we'll find our way back home. We should have just clicked our heels together three times. It's tributary, Jim. We have to be close. It shouldn't be that long till we find a bridge or something that'll lead us back to the road. In Australia, we can walk forever before we find people. Sounds a lot like Alabama. What's up, man? I thought I heard something. I guess it's nothing. So, Megan, I've been meaning to ask you about Australia. What about it? What's it like there? Like everywhere else, I guess. Pretty much the same as here. You've got your cities, your suburbs, your rural spots. I think we have you guys beat on surfing, though. But we have you guys beat on scary guys in the middle of nowhere. You are such an <laughs> ass. Do you really think that's funny? Sorry, I was just trying to lighten the mood. Well, stop, because you suck at it. I will gladly stop when you get us the hell out of here. Damn. When I get home, I'm locking myself into my room and playing nothing but Call of Duty and Uncharted. Yeah, well, I gotta get back to my grad studies. You're just one big party, aren't you, man? I probably owe it to myself after all this. It's amazing. It's like nobody's been here for 200 years. Oh, I wish I had my camera so I could get a shot of all this. Don't 
don't move. Shit, is he back? No, just step back. Slowly. This is a trap. Think like Apocalypto. If PT would have stepped on this line, he would have ended up airborne faster than he thinks. <laughs> that ain't saying much. Fight me. <laughs> no, no, it's, it's crazy, though, because I read about this kind of thing in my American history class. Yeah, the way this is designed, it snatches up the prey or enemy or whoever up and backwards, but low enough to the ground where they'll smash their head, leaving them unconscious. That's really crazy. Uh, it's just something us nature junkies find fascinating. If the Native Americans did this, and they're gone from this place, then who put this here? That's a good question. Our masked man, I thought you tied him up. I guess we need to watch our steps now that we know there's traps. Let's carefully pick up some speed and find our way back to my truck. Don't mind me, you guys. I'll be all right. What was that? Well, we are in coyote country. Oh, great. Now we got Wiley on our tail. Should I be looking for Roadrunner too? You guys, I think we can rest easy for the moment. You two get cleaned up. I'll fill the canteen and we'll head out in a little while. You know, I hate seeing Asian girls up close. Because from far off, they look so amazing. Then close up, it's like they lose all their beauty or something. It's like a living mirage. That's funny, because that's exactly what your ex said about you. Uh, she was a bitch. That's what she was. You always bring up the most random topic. Shouldn't you be on Adderall or something? Maybe. So what do you think, man? Good ending to a spring break, or what? Yeah, but imagine all the war stories you're gonna have to tell when you get back. I think after everything is said and done, you're gonna have a shot with Christy. I'm really sorry about all this. No one could have seen that this was gonna happen. I don't know, it's just, it's just that I've turned into that girl. Mm. I'm not sure I follow. Like you've turned into what girl? This bold little rich girl whose daddy's known in the scientific community. She tries to forge her own path. She puts all the lives of her friends at risk. Hey! Don't think like that. You didn't knowingly put us at risk. 
There's a lot of crazy people out there nowadays. And hopefully that guy is still tied to the tree getting raped by one of his incestuous cousins. Something about her is just so... I don't know how to say it. I could say the same thing about you and Megan. She's been eyeing you like a piece of chocolate while on a diet. No. <laughs> hey, all I'm saying is, try and play mysterious savior all you want. But all work and no play makes Alex a very serious virgin. I think you know me better than that. You know your virginity will grow back if you're celibate for too long, right? Yes. Where are you headed to, man? I'm gonna wash off. Hopefully relax in the process. Unless our mass sail on Houdini, I'd say we're all right for the time being. This is not your fault. We asked to come with you. Remember? None of us blame you for this. So, stop crying, and PT will never want to sleep with you. Are you insane? I think with all this tension, it's making you and PT hot for each other. Um, and by me and PT, do you mean you and Alex? Oh, whatever. Okay, you cannot tell me you're not attracted to him. Okay. He's hot. I admit that. <laughs> but what should I do? Go talk to him. Oh yeah? Well, then you should talk to Petey. Oh, that's disgusting. Anyway, I think I'm gonna go catch some rest. My head still feels a little bit woozy. Are you sure you're alright? I'm fine. Just go get your man. Sorry. It's all right. How are you healing up? Pretty good. Had a pretty good doctor. Thanks. Can I explore for a bit? Christy managed to get you out here. <laughs> and she has been trying to get me to check out that lost village with her since freshman year. Me too. You'd be pretty persistent. Obviously. You know, I was thinking we could rest for a little longer if someone keeps an eye out and shifts. Christy really needs me. She's actually taking a break right now. I don't know how safe she'll be with PT though. She's really beating herself up over there. She, she shouldn't. Who knew that there would be a maniac in the woods hunting us? Are you I just hope we don't run into him again, because I'd hate to imagine a man like that is truly capable of. Scary thought. But you guys tied him up pretty well, and PT made sure he's beat up pretty well, too. You would have killed him if I let him. Can you blame him? No, 
but I can't imagine letting it become a killer. I'd stop anybody from doing that if I could. What was that? Uh, it's just a stick. See, it's not quite winter yet, and the trees are just dropping the last of their branches from the winter cold. More no wolves? More coyotes. This area's full of them. You wanna head back? I'm sure they aren't as vicious as dingoes, but I'm with you. I'd rather be safe than sorry. <laughs> Really ready to get out of here. Me too. I just hope this creek leads us back. But don't worry, I'm not gonna let anything happen to you. I'll get you home. So sweet. How's your hand? It's good. It stings a little bit, but it's not bad. You did a great job patching me up. Thanks. No, thank you. So, uh, this hike should be right up your alley. Hmm? Christy was telling me that you were recently voted Miss Green in an Australian beauty What the hell is Miss Green? Uh, it's kind of like Miss America for Australia. My platform was for green. You say that like it's no big deal. Just something little. Any little. Just itty bitty. What took you so long? I just needed to know that you wanted what I wanted. Well, now that you know, what are you gonna do about it? I'm going to get you home. I have confidence you'll get us there. And yeah, why's that? Let's just say I'll keep you well motivated. Please, let's just go. What is it, sweetie? It's PT. I've got to get away from him. What's the matter? He is driving me crazy. The boy never learns and he never gives up. I'll go talk to him. Hmm. What? You know what? Spill. We kissed. <gasps> Twice. Oh my god. <laughs> well, at least something good's coming out of this trip. How was it? Softest like heaven. Really? Softest ever? Yeah, pretty much. Hey guys? Yeah. I think we should get moving. We don't know how far we have to go. Yeah, and I'm still barefoot. Your point is? I have to do the amazing race in the most uncomfortable manner. Really? Reality TV? Grow up. Good riddance, dude. I'm not going after her. Really, PT? Yeah. Look, man, she already feels responsible for our run-in with that lunatic, and the last thing that she needs is another one making her feel worse. The least you could do is go easy on her. I keep trying to get through to that chick. She just has no sense of humor. There's a difference between having a sense of humor and thinking you're funny. Now you're going to bite my ass, too? I got to get it from two continents now? PT, she's blaming herself for what happened. Be a man and stop acting like a little child. She's right. Go and talk to her, but try doing it like a grown-up. We'll drift back and give you two the privacy. Grown-ups suck. Just go. I'm going already.
tea. Don't ever do that again. What did I do? Scare the hell out of me like you just did. I know. I'm a jackass. An asshole. A dick. And insensitive. That is a true understatement. You make it so hard. Seriously, PT? I didn't even mean it like that. Whatever. With you, it's always the jokes and the sarcasm. Why did you even come on this trip? I want to live and get away from the mass freak like everyone else. No, why did you even come on this trip? I came with Alex. He didn't even invite you. No one did. I came because of you. Wanted to get to know you better. Now you know. Satisfied? Look, I appreciate the sentiment. And I'm not trying to be rude, but I already have enough to deal with here. Let's just not make this trip any more difficult than it already is. No one's blaming you for what happened here. That's what everybody keeps telling me. No bullshit, okay? It was a freak accident. As in, we accidentally ran into a freak. Truth is, you're pretty cool. I'm sorry about how I acted towards you. Oh, thanks. I really appreciate it. You're welcome. I just don't know if things will ever be the same after this. I'll always be looking over my back and seeing what that noise was. Hey guys. Everything all right? Yeah, I'm just thinking about some things. Things are never gonna be the same after this, guys. We'll always be looking over our backs and it's just too much. Please tell me there's an explanation in your nature book about that. Come on, guys. Let's go. So which way do we go from here? I'm not sure. I think we need to go to the right. What makes you so sure, Magellan? Well, the creek follows the right. Yeah, so? It's water. All civilization is based near water. Civilization means getting to my truck. We get to my truck, get home. Civilization ain't the only thing found near water. Crazy lunatics are found there, too. Ghost Bridge. I can't believe we found it. Ghost Bridge? What the hell is a ghost bridge? Well, that's what this bridge is called in this area. It's said to be built near the burial mound and be the doorway for souls to cross over. It looks fairly modern. I thought this area was undiscovered. Well, it is, for the most part. The bridge itself was built in the 1820s. Legend says in the 1850s, a runaway slave was captured here and hanged. It was a terrible way to die. You're right. After he was dead, the lynch mob that caught him left his body to hang and be devoured. That same lynch mob, when they left, they were attacked. All but one of them died, and the lone survivor later brought another group out here only to find the mob's bodies hanging from the bridge. And let me guess, he still haunts the bridge to this day. That's baloney. Is that so hard to believe? I heard a similar story back east. You guys actually believe that shit. What, and you don't? Wolves or coyotes? Wolves or coyotes? Or coyotes? We're throwing out that excuse. We're throwing out that excuse. Someone's trailing us. Someone's trailing us. 
no way, bro. There's no, no way one around here for miles. It's just some animal that's caught our scent and now it's gotten curious. I hate to use Alex's tagline, but let's get moving. I don't know, but I wasn't sticking around to find out. the obvious. It's actually here. <laughs> Guys, this dates all the way back to like the 1830s. You mean the Trail of Tears? What do you know about the Trail of Tears? The fact that hundreds of innocent people lost their lives under the control of the government. Because I'm awesome. I watch the History Channel. It was the Indian Removal Act of the 1830s. Over 5,000 people lost their lives. Many of them were forced to leave their homes with little more than the clothes on their back. And then they were sent to these camps where disease was everywhere and food was nowhere to be found. It's horrible. Some were outright slaughtered. There's a story in here about the last family that lived on these grounds. What happened? I'm not sure. It's not in my notes. Still, The thought of being forced to walk to your own death. People are monsters. Hmm. What's that? Something in here about a pendant. A pendant? The pendant has a sign of the man in the circle of life. The legend tells of the dead ends, detours, and obstacles. It's the struggle to understand what can affect the physical, emotional, and spiritual growth that can guide them through the maze. At the center of the maze, the sun god awaits to guide them to the next realm. That's pretty cool. Yeah, my father did a lot of research on this. He said that the families would place a curse on the burial mounds, you know, for protection. The burial site is said to open Pandora's box. Alex, be careful. Sorry, just trying to get a better look. Is there anything else in your notebook about this area? Well, according to this, after the Trail of Tears, this area was protected by a powerful shaman. So it's not like Jim Carrey and Ace Ventura too? Bumblebee Tuna. Never mind. The shaman used the power of the Wakofi which is a force that originates from negative energy, destroying the balance of the universe. So definitely not Jim Carrey. The shamans would use the Wakufi to enslave the souls of the dead that weren't protected. That's it. That's all I've got. My notes aren't complete. I think it's so beautiful that someone would protect the people that they love so that they can stay where they rightfully belong. Only that were possible. Who says it's not? Seriously, man. Shamans and spiritual protection? I thought you were a science major. Well, I know there's more out here, guys. Come on. There's gotta be something around the edge of the clearing. You're so hot when you act like Lara Croft. Uh, we're about to lose daylight, and in case you guys haven't noticed, we are a little low on supplies. She's right. God, I wish we had more time. I know there's more out here to see. Well, after we get home, I'll be to 
You ever hear the legend of the Cherokee Rose? No, and I'm not sure that I want to know. The mothers that died along the way cried for their children day and night from the spiritual realm. They grieved so much that the chiefs prayed for a sign to lift the mother's spirits and give them strength to continue their journey. From that day forward, a beautiful new flower, a rose, grew wherever a mother's tear fell to the ground. The rose is white for the mother's tears, with a gold center that represents the gold taken from the Cherokee lands, and seven leaves that represent the seven Cherokee tribes that made the journey west. To this day, a white rose still grows along the route of the Trail of Tears. That is beautiful, PT. Damn boy, <laughs> you bring it. I vote we walk along the river and then when we get to the road we can make Christie's discovery known. <laughs> Did you guys know that Neil Patrick Harris is gay? Yeah, I think we all have for the past like five years. I just found that out like last month. Doogie Hauser is a total dude, pulp. Dude, dude. Give it a rest. I'm just saying. So I was reading about this guy who has a fetish for being stepped on. So he disguised himself up in random places where there's a bunch of people, and he jumps out from the dirt and he's all like, ah! We've, we've spent the last four hours listening to you talk about pop musicians, the mating rituals of marsupials, comedians, and now fetishes of morons. Can you please just, 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 just please, peace and quiet. All right. I say we take a bathroom break, right? Once we get off this channel, we can rest for a few. That sounds like a good plan. Hey, Alex. I'm gonna take some sachio and put it on the net. Here looks like a good spot. Doesn't this look like the clearing we were at a few hours ago? It's the woods, PT. Every clearing looks alike. Hey, Alex. I'll be back in a minute, guys. Damn. Need some help? No, I think I'll be all right.
Who hit me, Mask Man? A shirt. Where's Megan? She must be close. I can hear her radio. Do something. Who is that? Quick, man, get me out of this! As soon as we leave, you'll wake up and you'll look at the finish where you started. Strap his ass to a tree, get back to the truck, call the cops, and defend him. me. How is this possible? Settle down, Alex. Just follow me. Am I dead? No. No, just keep up and I'll figure something out. Take this guy out. I must get ahead of them. If I can 
catch him in this trap, I'll get away from the group. This trap will take care of him. Don't move. Just step back. I guess we need to watch our steps now that we know the purpose. Let's carefully pick up some speed and find our way back to my truck. gonna kiss Megan. I've got to stop him. Deja vu? I don't know, but I've got to do something. I think there was a mound, a pendant, something about a maze. Is this the maze? What did 
I do? Scare the hell out of me like you just did. Man, what is he doing here? I've got to cross it to get to the mound. before they do.
was nothing. Sacred land will never be yours. It already is. Understand, I don't want to kill you, but I can't have a young engine growing up for sake of revenge. And a young engine eventually becomes a grown up engine. So either kill you now, kill you later. Cycle starts over. He said that the families would place a curse on the burial mounds. You know, <laughs> Who the hell is that? Hey, look, it's me, Alex. Alex, what the? Alex? Guys, you have to listen to me, all right? Christy, the legend is true. <laughs> we have to stop him from stepping on the mound, or he's going to start the cycle all over again. I saw the masked man! It's in his own space! It's me! Look at his eyes! Oh my god. This is some 
serious Twilight Zone shit. I don't think mine have ever done that before. Pete, do something! What the hell do I do? Which one do I hit? Blast it out! Blast it out of here! Listen to me. The masked man has gone after Christy and PT. We have to help them. All right, look, look. This is the only way. I know you're confused. I, I, I'll explain everything as soon as this is over. Just trust me. Okay, come on. Christy! Christy, where are you?
I know it's not a dozen houses, but it's the best I can do. I'm really sorry for being a bitch to you. <laughs> Sure left this time. So you still think Miss Green's no big deal? Just something little. Only little. Itty bitty.
pull the trigger. I'm gonna pull the trigger. Now I'm gonna pull the trigger. I'm gonna pull the trigger. I'm gonna pull the trigger. I'm gonna pull the trigger